Hello and welcome to the Nick Dinsmore YouTube channel. Please subscribe, comment, share, and give us a thumbs up. Follow former WWE superstar Eugene Nick Dinsmore on social media. Check out NickDinsmore.com. But what I want to talk about right now is what happened to All-American Doug Basham here just a few weeks ago. Flash Flanagan was, and Doug Basham were the tag team champions. They held the Ohio Valley tag team belts. They were held up. They, they, were placed around, they were placed around their waist, no. and you know it. Flash Flanagan, we want to say uh, split up. I'd like to say a turned on All-American Doug Basham out here in the squared circle, right here at Davis Arena at 1121 Mechanic Street. Because of that, the tag belts were held up, and you know it. That's why we had the opportunity to get these new belts. Now, what we want to know is why in the world is Flash avoiding All-American Doug Basham? First of all, you get on TV at WDRB Channel 41, and you tell all the people in the viewing audience that Flash Flanagan is running from Doug Basham. But let me tell you something, this is in no way the truth at all. We all sit right there and I watch Flash Flanagan on Monday Night Raw myself. He's wrestling big time for the WWF in Indianapolis, Indiana. He's wrestling in Evansville, Indiana for the World Wrestling Federation. So there's no way he's ducking Doug Basham. What you're trying to do is you're trying to make, you're trying to make it out like Doug's something big. Trash is a pro. Flash is a tr pro. He's a seasoned veteran. He's great. And what's happened is Doug Basham is jealous of Flash Flanagan, and that's all there is to he's it. Not, he's not jealous of anybody, and I'm telling you right now, in this tournament that's coming up, if All-American Doug Basham can find himself a partner, he will be a force to be reckoned with and may very well have these belts around his waist. Now, I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of people that's been asking about, how do I become the next Rip Rogers? How do I become the next wrestling star? Well, our good friend Jim Cornette has got some comments about it. And let's go to Jim right now for those comments. Hey, this is Jim Cornette. If you want to learn to be a professional wrestler, if you think you've got what it takes, then I know the place to go. The Danny Davis School of Professional Wrestling right here in Jeffersonville, Indiana. It's affiliated with Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling. You can learn the right way to be a professional wrestler. You can learn whether you've got what it takes to make the big money. And most of all, you can find out whether you've got what it takes to match wits with the Louisville Slugger. So that's all you've got to do is just call the number at the bottom of your screen, the Danny Davis School of Professional Wrestling. Learn from the best. Welcome back, fans. Dean Hill here with the Hustler Rip Rogers. Well, we just heard the comments from Jim Cornette about the uh, Danny Davis Training Center. What do you think about Cor uh, Cornette's comments? Well, first of all, Jim Cornette is the greatest manager in all the world of professional wrestling ever. He's, he's had champions in World Championship Wrestling, the NWA, WWF, USWA, Mid-South, you name it, Jim Cornette's done it. He's the man. Now, I love Jim Cornette, but I don't necessarily, well, I have to respect his opinion, and even though I don't like Danny Davis, I must admit, he's probably the greatest trainer of young athletes in the world today, but I still don't like him. Please subscribe, comment, share, and give us a thumbs up. Follow former WWE superstar Eugene Nick Dinsmore on social media. Check out NickDinsmore.com.